Making that blanket statement that no, all religions are the same? No, it's saying that Muhammad, that's Islam, which is an off branch of Christianity in Judaism. Well, and it, they are a protected people of God, Galatians 20 through 25. So, what does Islam say to people that don't believe in Islam? Yeah, but okay, here's the thing. What does Christianity say to people that don't belong to Christianity? Two totally separate stories. Ah, uh, but see, you only do it part of it, too. Yeah, these videos today, they're going to turn out awesome. Yeah, so. <laughs> 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 I thought they were going to... I thought that they were going to... You thought they were going to attack you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. That, no I thought they were going to... How's your YouTube channel coming? Huh? How's your YouTube channel Oh, it's okay. I sent, I, sent the, uh, I sent you guys a video of that. I was hoping you guys would share. I, I, oh, sorry. Did you I, send it to the messenger? I, 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 I got taken off Facebook after you sent that to me. Really? I'll give you my number uh, so you can... Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, it was a good video. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, um, this is something that's kind of uh, at times difficult to uh, to talk about, but um, one of the things is that I I struggle with a lot of things. Okay, um, I, I put on a, a, a face, you know, when I'm out in public and stuff. Uh, I like to stay strong. I like to stay positive. But I do go through some really difficult times, and I want to explain something to you guys. What happened to me? I, I just, you know, I went through two weeks of pure misery, like, uh, and the, the the darkest, the darkest, probably the, the 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 hardest depression I've been through my entire life. I'm talking about just recently. I'm talking about so depressed that it's hard for me to get out of bed, right? I don't know if you guys have ever felt that way, or what that's like. And the worst thing is, I don't even know why. I know that I have all these things piling on to me, you know, but I'm usually good with handling those things. And I'm talking about just crying, depressed. I feel like, like there is no faith. Like I, I have always believed in God, but obviously I was lacking faith. Like I felt like bad things are going to happen to me. The world is ending. I'm being punished. Like all those negative things. And then one Joey day. Joey Gibson, you've been served. Who's that? What is that? You've been served with, <laughs> served with Super Sue. <laughs> oh, the Fed's one? Okay, thanks. Anyways, God bless you. Anyways, see? Wow, Third lawsuit. Third lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. This is good timing. So listen. Let me explain something. So listen to this. So one morning, though, I'm driving. I'm dropped. I'm taking my kids to school. And all of a sudden, I felt the urge to be thankful. I started to thank God. I started to thank Him for the things that I have. Thank Him for my children. Thank Him for the roof over my head. Thank Him for the fact that I'm not starving to death. Thank Him for my health. Thank Him for the right to fight for the kingdom of heaven on, on this planet, on this realm that we're in right now. The fact that thank I was thanking Him for everything that I can think of at that moment in time. And it lifted me out of that depression. I don't know what it was. I don't know why he had me go through that, but I'm telling you, you know, scripture constantly talks about praising God and thanking God. That's not for God. God already knows what, what we should be thankful for. It's for us, guys. It's for us. We have to, especially as Americans, think about it. As an American, think about how spoiled we are. Think about what we have that we take for granted every single day. And this is why, this is why freedom to me is so important to preach freedom because we're so lucky to have it, guys. We're so lucky we have freedom. It is, it is a rarity in this world. If you look at the history of this world and the history of tyrants, right, that have been oppressing us for ages, we have to be thankful what we have in this country. And let me tell you this much. When you're thankful for the freedom that we have in this country, you're gonna fight for it. 
You're gonna fight for it with everything that you got. We're not gonna let it slip away. But if you take it for granted, like a lot of the kids do, a lot of people do, we're gonna lose it. And we're not gonna sacrifice to fight for it, ladies and gentlemen. Be thankful that we have a right to be here right now to talk about God. Be thankful that we have a right to talk poorly about any politician that we want, right here, out in the open, right? How much do they want to get away with? They want to get rid of that right. They want to get rid of your right to, to speak freely, right? So, get up here, come here. I've been a center of attention for so long, I don't take it too kindly. I'm a free American, I'm, not, I'm homeless, right? But it wasn't for more than a year and a half. And uh, I feel very targeted. People, this is not uh, a game with me because I don't want to start swinging or feeling like I need to defend myself by a mass of people who want to just talk at me and not to me, you know? So please, lay off your hate. What hate? The following is it very invasive. What? It's invasive. But, uh, I love you, brother. Look, you're up here. Able OK, to OK. It, it makes me feel uncomfortable, though. What does? When people, you. they laugh at my uh, misfortune. Who does? I don't know who, because I, I don't even ask. But I know it's, it's been thrown my way. What's your name? LeVar Fox. LeVar Fox? It's LeVar Fox. I'm sorry that you've received hatred from people. You're not going to get any here. I'm, 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 I'm thankful. Hey, thank you. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know? You want to march with us? I do. All right, let's go. All right. Is that a good coat? What's that? You know, is that if I get a coat? I, just, I threw mine away because I felt like someone. We'll be here, so whatever you can do. Yeah. So, right here. I feel like a target, you know? Like, it's. I missed for a certain way that okay, I was going to get shot. Okay, look at that. Let me grab all my stuff up. You can have this. Yeah. I did. I actually took everything off and I started walking around like this just so I'm, I'm, I'm you know. Amen. You know? I'm not using violence. You know? You're a friend. You're helpful. You're real helpful. But I feel like somewhere out there, because there are such things as a. Psychopaths and all yeah. that. You know, they float through these things. Yeah. Hey, bud. A couple bucks for you, too. Thanks. I appreciate it.